They were warned it would be chaotic. This is this is my house. The situation says that the French and British governments have had months to decide what to do with around 6,000 people living here at the jungle camp in Calais. This week, as it was evacuated, it burnt to the ground. The police were here before sunrise. Thousands of refugees waiting here in the mud of northern France for the chance to cross the Channel to Britain now had little choice but to await their next fate. Today you leave the jungle? Yeah, I leave the jungle, yes. I have no choice now. Adults were given only one option, to register for buses that would take them elsewhere in France. My family, my brothers, my sister-in-laws, my, my nephews, uh, they are British citizens. They are uh, letting well, a teenager, yeah, I, I'm, uh, I know, they are uh, helpless, but I'm also helpless. Aboudi is a refugee from Sudan. He's 17 and unaccompanied. In theory, he has a chance of being accepted for asylum in the UK, but the priority is being given to children with family ties to Britain. I don't stay to France. France is no good to any people from Sudan. All my friends, we want to go UK. Some other children have been luckier. The friends who go, are you happy for them? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm happy. If you go that UK, I am very happy. Uh, but for you, uh, sad. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I'm no happy. Why? Because only three person by day, only three person. We are money more than 100. 100. By Wednesday, as whatever order existed in the jungle broke down completely, huge fires rapidly spread through the camp. Hello, good my friend. You see my life. This one my life, my friend. Yes. No problem, my friend, jungle finished. Now you see this life. I two years, two years, I living in jungle. This my caravan, you me, this caravan, this my caravan. As the fires rage closer, Khalid decides it's time to move. Before long, it's time to move on again. Move. We are not fire. For your security, you go, you come back after. But we can we leave our stuff here? Our bags here in Karwan. Yes. Inside the processing warehouse, there was a rush to move people on. Refugees were given a choice of provinces in France that they would be taken to, but their voice wasn't always heard or understood. Khaled faced an anxious wait, not knowing whether all his belongings were safe from the fires. After hours, the police finally relented and let the refugees back into the still burning camp. Okay? Yeah. Hey. Good. All your documents? Yes, everything good. Come see. Yes. Good anything. This way. Good. What's in there? Huh? Uh, 
This document, this up here. Okay. This here, good. This the most important. This yes, see this important. This my clothes, my anything shoes, and this shoes anything. Oh, good now. Oh, finish now. Hi. As the camp burned, French authorities stopped the registration of children and adults, even though hundreds remained. Outside the camp, I bumped into 17-year-old Abudi, the Sudanese boy determined against the odds to get to his friends in England. Tonight, he and many others will be sleeping on the streets. Today I sleep outside because Gingil finish. No chance to UK, no pass, no anything. What happened to your tent? What is Move, move, move! Doing guilt today, finish. Okay, where are you going? I don't have anything here. I'm a refugee. No pass, no chance to UK. Where do you sleep? I sleep down outside. A lot of people today sleep on the side. Not one, two, three. A lot of people. This is a problem. I'm so sorry.